Hi guys, it's Shama Maher here, CEO of Scaling Retail. And this week on Retailing Weekly, we're talking about sustainability. Now you may have heard, but Ralph Lauren recently announced on Earth Day that they were going to be announcing a new product, the Earth Polo. This is made from recycled plastic and it's going to be one of the first forays into Ralph Lauren's commitment to a more sustainable and green future. Retailing at $89, it fits nicely with an assortment of their other price points. And I think it's a fantastic opportunity to really give recognition to many fashion brands who are now starting to address many issues that are affecting our climate and our earth. Similarly, H&M has been rolling out a number of initiatives to also be reinvesting into sustainability and using more forward-based business models as they think about not only reselling products as well as starting to introduce more sustainable and environmentally sound products. Now, guys, this is a really big personal issue that I've had when it comes to fashion brands. Now, certainly we've been seeing a lot more of the larger guys take a bit more of a stake as it comes to what we're doing with sustainability, but we're still a long way from it. One of the biggest gripes that I have with the sustainability market is simply how expensive these products are. Now, because they're expensive and they're on the higher price point, it really only means that those who have that considerable amount of income and disposable income to be able to spend on these products can engage in purchasing sustainably driven items. Now, what does that mean for the rest of the country and the population who doesn't have such quite high disposable income? How are they supposed to be engaging into this worldwide effort that we have to combat climate change through making more educated purchases with our dollars that we make on a monthly basis? it becomes increasingly difficult. So what I would like to pose retailers to do would be to create a competitively low product. How do we create something that is sustainable and upcycled that costs $5 or 99 cents or even under 15 or $20? How do we start to make sustainability a product that is accessible, not just to you know affluent millennials and those who can afford higher price tags, but to those working class individuals who are simply unable to make those higher investment purchases that fall in line with their ethics. So that is my piece on Earth Day and the way in which we as retailers and as brand strategists can start to think about building a more democratized world of access to sustainable products for those people who do not have those higher income brackets. So I'm looking forward to seeing retailers and brands out there how you will also support this initiative to bring democratized sustainability to a much wider audience because truly that is when we will start to see the shift and the change when the people are able to make more better choices choices with their purchasing power. All right, guys, more on thought leadership and different industry related things here on our YouTube channel. Certainly leave comments below. Send us an email at hello at scalingretail.com. Would love to hear more from you. Have a great week. Bye.